going over AMR Weathercaster advanced setup features. The advanced setup button is located in the top right of the back screen, the Weathercaster screen. You then come into an advanced setup box. By clicking on the enable disable functionality tab, you then get to the enable disable. This is where you can turn off NMEA 0183 sentences or NMEA 2000 PGNs. The bandwidth indicator is here. You would want to always keep that in the green level. You can check boxes to be turned on or off or NMEA 0183 sentences and the bandwidth will increase or decrease. You can slide down to view all the sentences. If you hover over a sentence with your mouse, you will see what the sentence actually sends out. You can then change the interval or the hertz um, if you want it sent more per second or less per second. And by doing that, it will also change the bandwidth. I'll change it to, I'll change this. 0.1. As you can see, the bandwidth does increase. You can save down here on the right or cancel. You can also click the defaults button down here at the bottom, and that will bring it back down to defaults. There's two tabs at the top. There's the NMEA 0183 display settings and the PC settings. If you're using the weather station with a NMEA 0183 display only, you want to make sure you make the changes to the NMEA 0183 tab. If you're making changes using uh, Weathercaster standalone and not an NMEA 0183 device, you want to make sure that you make the changes under the PC settings tab. So there are two tabs at the top. When you are done, click save and it brings you back to the main advanced setup box. The information on the main advanced setup box, self-test status, you can click details, get information here. The top will give you the model number that's connected, the part number, the serial number, the hardware version, firmware versions, and GPS versions. Um, here's the enable disable functionality box, which we just went through. Sensor orientation, sensor options, compass calibration for PB200s and H283s, GH283 models, NMEA 2000 settings if we were connected to the NMEA 2000 network, and you can restore factory defaults by the bottom. It will prompt you, click OK, and then the factory defaults are reset. Communications Diagnostics, this is where you can select which COM port you would like to use and the baud rate. Airmark Converters use the baud rate of 4800. Airmark Combiners use a baud rate of 38.4. You can either manually select or auto detect the COM ports. We recommend to manually select and click the Refresh COM ports button and select the one from the drop down. You can also log raw data by clicking the checkbox here and then you can select where on the computer you would like to log this raw data. This is saved as a text file. When you have made these changes, you can click apply and it will then try to connect to the weather station. Update flash tab allows you to update firmware within the weather station itself or the GPS or the heading sensor. You select the file. They are .ax files. Click open. It would check the connection to make sure that you are sending the right file to the right connected weather station. Then click program and it will allow you to program. The checking sensor data may take several seconds in order for it to pull the weather station. It also gives you the current firmware versions that are located on the unit.